Hi, do you know Prince George? No, not the prince, but actually the city located in British Columbia. It sits at the confluence of two rivers, the Nechaco and the Fraser, and the population is around 80,000. It's known as being the hub of the north or gateway to the north. Even though it's not in the north, it's located almost at the geographic center of British Columbia. So that really shows you how little population is in the northern half of BC. In the past, Prince George was also known as the spruce capital of the world. It had snow golf, sand blast, and if you're old enough, you might even recall Uncle Ben's beer. Unfortunately, none of those things have lasted the test of time. But there is one thing still standing in Prince George, and it's still standing because he's a giant, giant wooden, wooden man. man. Hi, thanks for joining us on today's video. It's going to be a short one. We're in British, Prince George, British Columbia today, which is almost at the center of the province. We're here for a family celebration, so unfortunately we're not getting around to film very much. I do want to show you something that's pretty iconic here, and that is Mr. Peachy. Twenty twenty is a big birthday for Mr. PG as he was born in nineteen sixty, which makes him sixty years old this year. So you may recall that I said Prince George was known as the spruce capital of the world at one point. So that should have been your first indication that this is a forestry-based city. Its main industries were logging, sawmills, pulp mills, and lumber. And because of that, Harold Moffat decided that Prince George really did need a mascot and something to promote the city and its industry. So a five foot man was commissioned and created and he stood outside of the former Simon Fraser Hotel on Quebec Street. The people really liked Mr. PG, and so the city recreated him as an 11.6 meter version for the 1961 May Day Parade. Mr. PG was such a hit with the people that he hit the road and started touring with other parades. He won first place at the Kelowna Regatta, second place at the PME Parade, and then to top it all off, in 1963, he gained national exposure when he was in the Vancouver Grey Cup Parade. He underwent some modifications to be able to fit under the power lines. In 1970, Mr. PG was put on display at the corner of George Street and First Avenue, which was the location of the Chamber of Commerce. By the 1980s, Mr. PG had already been relocated to the intersection of Highway 16 and 97. Being made entirely of wood, he was beginning to deteriorate and something needed to be done. From what I remember, there was a debate raging about whether to replace Mr. PG, to have a new mascot, or to get rid of the mascot altogether. There were petitions all over the city uh, asking for people to sign saying that they would like to have a new Mr. PG. And he was eventually replaced with what you see today, which is a large um, structure made out of steel and fiberglass. And inside his belly, there is a time capsule. So either you love Mr. PG, like my friend Jan and I, who had matching t-shirts, or you didn't like him like my mom who thinks he's creepy. Sorry, Mom, Sorry, didn't mom. mean didn't to throw, you, throw under you under the bus. The bus. So Mr. PG was rebuilt in 1983, and he is a little bit smaller than the original, as he now only stands 8.14 meters high. Mr. Peachy is often in disguise as he does get dressed up for community events. He's worn dark glasses and a cane for the CNIB. He's been dressed up as a blue man for the when the blue man group came to Prince George. He's even worn a tutu and has been dressed up as a member of KISS.
Over his 60 years of life, Mr. P.G. has been immortalized in a lot of merchandise and memorabilia. In 2009, Canada Post even featured him on a stamp as part of their Roadside Attraction series. He's so famous, he's even had a song written about him. As I mentioned earlier, Prince George is in the middle of the province and two major highways intersect here. Highway 97 runs north to south and Highway 16 east to west. Mr. PG stands at the crossroads to greet all the visitors traveling into the city. Whether you love him or you hate him, Mr. PG has withstood this test of time and he's got many more years to go. Happy birthday, Mr. PG.